Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you so much for being brave and, you know, doing the things that you have to do, even though I know it might not be easy. You all can be very difficult and very dreadful at times, but you know what? You're taking that chance with a leap of faith and, you know, that's what we're here for. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or just up tell me about the impact of the gift and how it's impacting your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is gave you good vibes and you feel like something might somebody need to hear this at the time please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up or share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you for stopping by my channel and showing me love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with content in my video today i'm feeling this video is so good um it's called heal any disease uh physical mental spiritual illness quantum healing sound therapy shamaic uh, drums and I you know I'll post that link in the description box below whoever wants to listen to that meditation music and today my video is about remember getting comfortable being uncomfortable you know we have to get that way there's times where you know there's a, I've told y'all before in my videos let me turn this down because there's so many beats that they're using that can be bringing off the microphone um where we're dealing with a lot of things that we have to go through in life and you know we're put in positions to where things that we really truly want we have to basically jump through monkey hoops just to get through it and or there's things that we're heading toward that this heading towards our direction that is hard to deal with you know i try not to say cope because cope is like you're you're trying to put a band-aid on a broken leg you know you can't do that you know you always got to deal with stuff don't ever cope because it's like when you're coping i feel like it's like you, you you're you're trying to keep it around but you're just dealing with it because it's happened you know i always try to use that word deal you know when you can take it head on and say okay you know i'm i'm done how can i heal from this what you know steps can i do to make myself feel better you know stuff like that but it's like i've always used that term you probably if you've been with me for a while you probably heard me say that and, you know i'm no telling i probably made a video about this but i'm trying to say something different but it's like you know like i say there's a lot of numbers that mirror out to me that might you know might be going through something and might be 2282 and i'll look it up on angel numbers on google you know and it's a certain situation and things ping out to me that way and it's just like we go through things in life that are not comfortable and that's what you have to be comfortable with knowing life is going to change like clockwork people change like clockwork you know your energy shifts like crazy and you have to be uncomfortable being you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable there's going to think be things that you're going to have to take a leap out of faith for knowing even though there's a hard time with us actually realizing Things are there for us for the better. Things are coming towards us for the better. But a lot of times, us in our human form have to be like, I see it. I have to see it for it to know it's coming. And that's the purpose. You know, if you know you're doing what you need to do, taking different steps and measures to better yourself, be that best version of yourself, knowing, okay, you, you know, there's a lot of times people say, oh, I pray to God that I have a good day. And you get mad because you had a crappy day i mean you can't pray for stuff like that you have to ask god and say you know because i used to do stuff like that as well it's like oh i'm mad at him because i asked him to let me have a good day and then i get stressed out about this no what you need to ask for ask for god universe whoever you pray to you know can you allow to give me that strength to deal with whatever comes at me during the day you know and be grateful at the end of the day like you know what is the end of the day universe god thank you you know uh gaia you know whoever helped you through that term whatever archangel helped you through that term you know at that turning point you know be grateful for things that you were able to survive during that moment knowing that you know you were able to see things for what they were, truly were and then fly off the handle i mean there's days we're not gonna have good days we 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 should be able to handle that there's times i get mad about the stuff that's going on but then when i look at it and say you know what it could have been worse 
or thank God this is over with. You know, don't allow me to be affected about what happened yesterday because yesterday's already gone. You can't get that back. You know, you got to focus on today. You know, or we're worried about the future. If we're worried about the future, you know, if you know you're planning ahead and knowing there's good things coming at you, that's in store for you you have to be able to work hard to be able to get those things life is not going to change but you just sitting there hoping it's going to change you have to be able to change for your life to be able to change so it's just like i tell anybody you know do things you know be spontaneous about things be able to take that leap of faith there's a lot of times i didn't do it because if i i it was hard for me to believe if i didn't see it you have to know that silver lining is there you know we can miss out you know what what is coming towards us because we're so busy trying to you know pay attention to stuff but we're not you know you're worrying about the future without trying to you know fix the present you have to be able to live in the now it's like you know i always try to you know feel like oh, okay i know i got better things coming for me but i know i'm gonna have to work hard to be able to get those things that's coming for me when universe sees god sees you know gaia all the powers that be is seeing that you're working hard, you're trying to change yourself for the better. You you know, you're trying not to have the negative patterns. You're trying to push out love and light. You're trying to be able to give out good karma so you can receive that good, you know, put, get back what you, you're, you know you're pushing out. So when you're going through all those things, knowing that you're blessed, knowing even though you might go through hell on high water, you have to try to be grateful for everything that came towards your way. Even if it's bad, you know, like, yeah, I had this happen to me today, but I'm glad that I was able to, you know, recognize it for what it was and learn the lesson that it was trying to teach me. When you know things like that, you know, we all go through things. You know, we're all, you know, there's days it's going to be good. There's days it's going to be you're happy and there's days you're going to be released because I mean, I usually try to get videos out every day. You know, I took a massive break in, in December. I didn't make any videos at all during December because I was going through so much integration, going through a rapid pace of changing to where, you know, like I told people have been with me for a while, you know, they see I was pushing out the videos, even though I believed everything I was saying, it was like I was forcing myself to do it. I was getting burnt out. And with you being a YouTuber, you can get burnt out very easily. But like I've said before, if I'm going through major change and I feel my vibration where it's like rageful or very irritating, I'm not going to make no videos because that's selfish of me of knowing how that's making me feel. And I push that out on somebody else. So we're like, dang, why well, I going to make no videos today? She must be going through something. Yeah, I was going through something. You know, I'm going through things. And it, it's just I have no problem with admitting that. But it's just like I take that time out for myself. You know, I just had to learn, you know, if I'm feeling some type of way or I feel myself overworking myself because I do that a lot because like yesterday was crazy, you know, going through certain situations, having to deal with it. And it was like me being open like that. It was like an open wound and things just coming to me left and right, left and right, left and right. People coming to me with their issues and stuff like that. And I was trying to help them as much as possible. But if I feel, felt like the things that were coming towards me was really heavy. I had to disconnect real quick. I'm like, eh, I can't deal with that. You know, I, you know, I helped you. I'm trying to let you see what you, you, you need, to, you need to fix. You know, I hope everything is right with you. But here's the advice I need to give you. This is what you need to know. Now you got to do the rest. I can't deal with that no more. You know, and I had, I mean, it was so much that I had to deal with. That wasn't even funny. So it's just like when you're going through things like that, you have to know, you know, this is what I signed up for. There's a lot of people that are going to come at me with advice, you know, because people know I give good advice. You know, I say positive things. I don't belittle nobody. I don't judge anybody. And that's the reason why a lot of people come at me because they always say, Rosalind, I, I resonate with a lot of things you've been through. You always say something positive, you know, try to, you know, I used to be that negative Nancy. I used to be that, you know, or Nessie Martha. I used to be that way. You know, so and it was like it didn't get me nowhere because it was just like I felt like I was constantly being picked on, even though I was. But I knew after I took that step back and see what the purpose for me going through all the things I was going through is because it's here for me to tell a story to people. And I always tell people, you never know what your situation is can do for another person because they'll make them look at their life totally different not to say okay my, my stuff is stressful than yours no i'm just just basically telling people when you go through things it has a reason for happening the way it happened i can't explain that to you but you have to be able to look at it like some things i can't be able to explain to you if you're asking me Rosal, why i keep going through these things same thing over and over again is there are you paying attention to what it's trying to tell you because you will keep going through that negative pattern if you're not learning the situation that you're putting yourself in 
or the things that they're trying to teach you, you know, and it's just like, you know, you're doing it to yourself. So it's just like when you know you're going to be changed, you know, you're going through drastic changes, it's going to be very uncomfortable. But you already know if you're trying to, uh, you know, form yourself into that best version of yourself, you're going to have to work on it. You know, you're going to sacrifice a lot of stuff. You're going to have to step away. Um, there's a lot of things I had to let go of. Like I tell people, I have no problem with telling people, you know, I wasn't an alcoholic, but I like to drink. You know, on the weekends or, you know, every once in a while I had me a drink when things got heavy because going through a lot of situations, I use my escape. You know, a lot of us as empaths, we, you know, I'll be, I feel like you're very blessed if you're not addicted to something. If you're not addicted to marijuana or some kind of hard drug use, there's like, or alcohol or pills. You know, I, I'm, I'm like, if you say you ain't had nothing kind of like that, I said, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to give you your props. Because when you been a daggone empath and you able to deal with all this stuff and not have an addiction, to be able to take yourself away from that, you're very blessed. But just know that when you've gone through so many things, it was trying to teach you something. And so when you know you're going through this drastic change, knowing you're going to have to know that there's going to be days you're going to be feeling uncomfortable and try to understand why am I going through the things I'm going through. This is the reason why. But you have to be able to learn what the universe is trying to teach you through that lesson. So be comfortable getting uncomfortable. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to everybody. I missed y'all for those 24 to 48 hours. I try to get towards everybody's comment to drop me one. So no, I love and miss y'all. But I had to just take care of myself for a minute. So I hope you can understand. So my post notification shut out goes to, let me see, let me see. Who am I going to? do today happy hearts club channel um camilla xo victoria and jennifer foster much love to you and i will see you later stay blessed it's an uplifting prayers that you you know everybody it's not love and light and positivity towards others as well um know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days so like and subscribe like and share you know and hit the notification button and i will see you on my next video and drop me a line i love the chance to hear from you peace be wild